in this luxury home tour, interior designer Lauren Kyle walks us through this ultra sleek modern home in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Built by Allaire Homes, designed by Design2 Group, and currently listed with Carrie Lynn Holland, this stunning home features four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and over 6,000 square feet of living space. Hey guys, I'm Lauren Kyle. I'm the interior designer of this beautiful home, and I'm here to give you an exclusive tour with Property Grams. Come on in. So right when you walk in, you have these beautiful herringbone floors throughout the foyer. It's all natural wood. It really has this nice stain color. And then paired with this really nice wainscoting we've done, it has a really modern profile, which combines this idea of contemporary and traditional elements, as well as everything in this house is flush with the drywall. So the baseboard, the casing, and the doors. Right off the entry is our nice living room. Let's go check it out. Stepping into the living room, we have this beautiful custom fireplace mantle. It's done by a local limestone company. We designed it, they just created this beautiful piece and it really becomes a focal point of the room. And then the fireplace has a really beautiful herringbone liner, which plays nicely with the floors. I absolutely love that actually. Yeah, it's really nice. And then we got these picture lights, which accent the artwork on each side. It really creates that nice balance for the focal point of the fireplace have this great entertaining space or just kind of relaxing lounging space. Um, you got this corner lot, so you have a beautiful view of the city, which is great for entertaining or just kind of lounging at night. You get to see the city skyline and the lights twinkle from the buildings. Yeah, I can't get enough of that view. So right off your living room, you have your dining room, which is really nice because it makes the space feel nice and open, especially if you're entertaining. this beautiful fixture from Roland Hill. It's, it's again, a nice focal point of the dining room. I love the tinted glass. Yeah, the tinted bronze is kind of a reoccurring theme you'll see throughout the house, especially when we get to the ensuite. Moving over here, we have a buffet table so you can lay out all your food if you're entertaining or pouring some wine, um, which brings me to the Sub-Zero wine fridge where you can store all your nice bottles in here. A good amount for sure. Yeah, you can definitely fit a lot of wine in here. And off the dining room, we have this really large, expansive kitchen. So in the kitchen, we have these beautiful countertops. They're neolith, they're super durable, and they have this really nice texture, which makes them feel like a natural stone. In the front, we've done this really unique detail where we've kind of angled in the stone and cladded the whole island in it. Makes it feel very sculptural and super unique in this kitchen. Yeah, I love how it just waterfalls over. Yeah, it's really nice. And then we have this huge, massive, oversized 60-inch bronze metal hood fan, which pairs nicely with our beautiful stove. This Bertazzoni stove is amazing. It just reminds me of the La Corneau and it really makes that traditional, contemporary feel come to life in the kitchen. I like the black and the gold look to it. Yeah, it has a very nice contrast with the black and the brass. We've utilized unlacquered brass fixtures throughout by Kalista, which are really nice because they'll patina over time and create a really aged feel to them. And we have LED toe kick lights throughout the kitchen as well as under counter lights. One of my favorite features of this island is that if you put your phone down here, it will give it a charge, which is really cool. Okay, I've never seen that in any house I've been in. Super cool, I know. Makes it really handy to charge your phone. Moving around, on this side of the kitchen, there's an extra sink, which is great for food prep. And then around the corner of the kitchen, we have this huge wraparound pantry with tons of storage. Um, which is nice, it's right off the kitchen and you have a little drop zone for your keys and purses here. I love the black, just going with that theme still. Yeah, the contrast is really nice between the cabinet finishes. Again, over here, just tons of storage for coats or whatever you need. Tons of floor to ceiling storage, which is really great. And this is the garage right here. So there's a nice little drop zone mudroom. I love the big glass, just lets a lot of natural light in. Yeah, it's really great. Th these big windows open up to a little subterranean courtyard, which is really nice in the summer. You can put a barbecue out here, 
spend time in and out of the kitchen entertaining. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. What else do we got around here? So around this corner is heading to the office. It's really nicely enclosed with this glass wall, which really makes it feel nice and open with the living space, but also kind of hidden away. But that light fixture though. The light fixture is beautiful. It's really cozy in here. Some really cool artwork. Again, a nice view with this corner window here. So before we head upstairs, I will mention there's a powder room and an elevator that takes you up to the top, but we'll take the stairs for now. I love this Monostringer modern staircase. We've also carried the herringbone detail on the ceiling of these landings, which is super unique. Now upstairs on the second floor, we've carried this wainscoting throughout. Nice place for some artwork with some accent lighting. I love the inlay on the, the yeah, floor. Yeah, the inlay is something we did, which is really beautiful. It just accents and borders the hallway really nicely. It's true brass as well, that same unlacquered finish we use for the main floor. And then off of the staircase, there's two large bedrooms with oversized wood planks, big windows, and a closet space. They have a shared bathroom, which is really nice with this um, chevron tile that we used. I love it, it's just clean, airy, yeah. bright. Yeah, it's super bright, which is great for bedrooms. What do we have over here? Over here is a nice sitting area. This sitting room is a really nice place to just lounge and relax. You have panoramic views of the city, which is really nice. Um, we've utilized a really light sheer here just to add a layer of texture and warmth, but not obstruct the view. That's what I like about it. There's, and it also lets a lot of light in here still. Yeah, exactly. These light fixtures though. They're beautiful. The merino glass, everyone comments about these when they come up here. They're quite a statement jewelry piece of the room. Like really expensive earrings. <laughs> yeah, they really do. That was the whole concept of the light fixtures. And then we have a little built-in bookshelf with some lighting, which is a nice feature as well. There's a laundry room right off the sitting room, as well as a large patio, which is right off your master bedroom. It's great for guests to use it, as well as yourself every day. Huge patio heater, so you can use it in the winter. I love that they have no posts, like it's just unobstructed view. Yeah, we've used frameless glass here, so it really doesn't ruin your view. And the best room yet, your primary bedroom. into the primary bedroom, we have a beautiful king bed and these nice pendants that you can turn on and off over the nightstand. And then again, there's just this beautiful view. Uh, we have panoramic views again with these huge windows, get lots of light in here, and it's a really good size bedroom. The view actually gets better up here. Like I liked it down there, but up here is another level. Yeah, it's great. Wait till you get to the rooftop. So off the bedroom, we have this beautiful ensuite. This is definitely my favorite room in the house. It feels super luxurious, almost like you're in a five-star hotel. Double sinks, large vanity space. I love that like slab in the middle, what's that? Yeah, we used the limestone fluted panels in the ensuite to bring in the same concept as the fireplace. This is just a large drawer for some extra storage. And then we got more storage down here with pushed open drawers, which is really great. Nice. I like that it carries on uh, along with the mirror there. Yeah, we've added this really cool accent lighting that just washes light on those fluted limestone panels, which looks really nice. So we have a really large oversized shower here with two rain heads and a steam shower. We've done this really cool accent cove lighting in the back, which is unique. And then we use the bronze glass to make it feel really warm and luxurious in here. And then we have a huge tub with a tub filler and these really nice shears to bring in that warmth into the ensuite. Off of the ensuite is the closet. So this closet is really nice and open. We've used these black finishes, which makes it feel really sexy in here. And obviously the accent lighting is really nice to showcase all of your nice things in here. We've used these open shelves so you can really see all your clothes and it's surrounded by mirrors. I've never seen a water closet with a glass door. Yeah, I know, this, is, this was a nice little accent. We, we did the bronze glass again, so it gives some privacy in here, but it just elevates your washroom. 
So now that we've seen the primary suite, we're gonna head down to the basement. But before we do that, I would like to mention that these stairs take you up to a pretty cool outdoor rooftop patio. Hard, so I'm gonna take the elevator. This is not just any elevator though. It really isn't. There is a floor to ceiling window, which you can see the city views right through, all the way up through three levels. That's pretty amazing. So I'm gonna take the stairs, you head down, let's meet in the basement. Sounds good, see you there. So we've made it to the basement. Here we have a nice large bedroom. Heated floors throughout. I love this big slab. Um, what are these? These are just really oversized porcelain tiles. Nice. And to our left is our entertainer space. This is really meant to be the space where people gather, watch sport events, or it can double as a theater room. We got this large sectional. Behind the entertaining area, there's a bar. There's a mini fridge, there's um, a panel ready dishwasher, a sink, a uh, nice place to display your bottles here. I love the tile that you chose there too. Yeah, it's really nice and textured. It has a nice sheen uh, to it. And the windows though, I like that, how big they are in this room. Yeah, sometimes in a basement you can feel like it's really dark because there's no natural light coming in. These ginormous window wells and windows make it really feel like it is in a basement and allows all that light in so you don't feel super trapped. What's around this corner? Around this corner, we have a large wine wall. This is the first thing you see when you walk down the stairs. The lights automatically turn on and you see your display of wine bottles and there's these shelves for feature display bottles. What would you put in there? I would put in like a Casamigos bottle or a Class Azul. I'm a tequila okay. girl, so. I see you. Yeah. Then walking around this corner, there's a gym off to your left. Off of the gym, there's a huge bathroom. So this bathroom, I mean, I love the tile we used in here. It's just, it's bold and yet like classic and it pairs well with the brass fixtures. I love that it carries on into the shower. Yeah, it's so nice. We did it on the floors, on the ceiling and the walls, which is great. So off the bathroom, we have the main event, the sports court area. In here, we have a really large open space that overlooks the sport court. You could be watching the game while playing the game. Taking bets, right? Taking bets on the couch, <laughs> taking bets on who's gonna win the, the 21 game that's yes. going on over there. It's really great. You could use it on a, as a secondary gym if you wanted. There's plenty of opportunity in this space. Especially when you have this too. Yeah, like. so another wet bar, which is great for entertaining. We got a panelized fridge, sink, and then just tons of storage, perfect for entertaining. Counter to ceiling, backsplash. Well, Lauren, we have to talk about this court right here. Yeah, I mean, this is probably one of the most fun spaces in the house. It's a sport court. You can really do anything in here, hockey, basketball. Speaking of hockey, I have a bet for you. Oh, you do? If you can get the ball into the net, I will buy you Skip the Dishes. You know what? I'll take you on. But there's another thing. Okay. If you don't get it in, you're buying me Skip the Dishes. Deal, let's All do right, it. Let's do it. Okay. Are you ready for this? I think so. There's a lot of pressure right here. It's a lot of pressure. Because I like a big meal. And she's going. Oh! Woo! That was actually pretty good. Looks like dinner's on you. Uh, looks like I gotta go. <laughs> Lauren, you did such a killer job with this interior. Thank you for allowing us to tour this property. Thanks for having me. It was so much fun touring you guys around. Hey, can we do another one sometime? Definitely. All right, well, I think that's the end of the tour. See you guys later. Beautiful property, and I'm here to give you an exclusive tour with property grams. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> and then moving over to the 
island, there's a really cool feature in this island. If you put your phone down, it actually will charge it on the island. Wait a minute. Sure. You just put your phone down and it charged? Yeah, it charged. <laughs> <laughs> and the best room yet, your primary bath. <laughs> Yeah. And the best room yet, your primary bathroom. <laughs> Probably gonna take the elevator, my legs are a little tired. And it's stuck. <laughs> Counter and LED toe kick lights throughout the kitchen. I like that it helps just light up the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you can see all the dirt. <laughs> it's really great. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you'd like more information on the property or Kyle & Co. Design Studio, make sure to check the description below. We'll have all that information there. I'm Jaden with Property Grams. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next luxury home tour. Ooh.